Hi, we're back and this is episode 19 of Connie's Kitchen here at Treetop Lodge. We've had a busy day. We had a, we were filming earlier and we had a guest. Terry came and joined us. And so the kitchen is still a little trashed, but that's okay. I'm going to do more of those fun recipes because it worked out so well that people have sent me. So that's what I'm going to work on now. So I've got to check my notes. We are going to make potato puffs. This, I'm thinking that this could be an appetizer. It could be a side dish for a meal. I don't know, I guess we'll find out after we do them. So first what we need to do is make mashed potatoes and mash up to about three cups. And yes, I leave the skins on because I like the skin on the mashed potatoes. To that, I've got two eggs here that I'm going to beat some more. We need to add, I don't know, I wrote this down and I can't read it. Third of a cup of sour cream. Exact measure being very, very important. Mmm, love sour cream. Keep mixing. I'm going to add some cheese. And I still have some of this wonderful fontanella, and I love it. Fontanella is kind of a, not completely dry. It's a white Italian cheese. And it's, it's good for grating and such, obviously. But it's also got a kind of a creamy, buttery finish to it. And it's just, mm, smells so good. Smells so good. All right, so I'll mix that in. And then the recipe called for parsley or chives, and I happen to have parsley available. So I'm just going to, it's all washed and ready to go. I'm just going to chop it up a little finer. This is fun. This is really fun. I'm using these wonderful ideas that my viewers have sent me, and I'm having a good time. So keep an eye out for the shows when they come up, and I'll also let you know on Facebook. And you can take credit for some of these recipes. The chocolate lava cakes were wonderful. Well, that looks good at all. Hmm. Fresh parsley. Soon we'll be looking out the windows and seeing snow, but for right now, we're still enjoying this gorgeous weather. We finished up the paths and such outside. We have one more to finish. And we have another wedding coming in in, uh, in November. And then I have another couple. It's just booked for next summer. So we're just kind of creating as we go out there and as I said John's been doing now that Gage has left John's been doing most of the work and doing a really beautiful job so you really should come up and see it and take a walk on the path and you may encounter unicorns but don't worry because they, they're just kind of silly and mischievous but they're not they're harmless all right so I've got my eggs sour cream cheese chives and you can add other cheeses to this if you want. You can throw in some Parmesan, some Asiago, different things. I'm doing the straight fontanella today. Because you know me, I don't waste anything. I like to use up everything I have in different ways. So, all right, we got kind of a creamy sauce there. So let's just mix that in with the potatoes. I really think this is going to end up being kind of a fancy baked mashed potato thing. So let's mix that up. Mmm. Yes, I'm Irish and I do love my potatoes. I like them straight. I like them fancy. And this has just got so much going on. I think the egg is going to give it kind of a custard texture. So we'll get that mixed up good and then we're going to put it in this pan, <coughs> which I've sprayed some cups. And this is the kind of thing, like I said, if this comes out good, which I think it will, um, I could do it in the mini muffin pans and make bites, appetizers, like this. Oh, that looks great. Look at that. And it smells good. I can smell the cheese and the parsley. Mm-hmm. These are going to go in the oven, a 400. I've got the oven preheated. Fill cups just below the top. Okay. And they'll go in for 25 to 35 minutes. So we'll get those in. While I'm filling these, we've got more events coming up. We have our Halloween party on October 24th, costumes, the whole bit, food and games. And I'm thinking that we're going to have a mini murder mystery that night, but that's going to date back like 100 years, and it'll be up to the guests to solve the murder mystery as soon as I get done writing it, of course. So we've got that. We have scrappers coming up. You know, this is... For all the things we do up here, 
this was begun and our primary focus is crafting groups and scrapbooking groups and we can just provide absolutely everything you need here we have that great crafting space downstairs with the uh, five foot tables and very comfy ergonomic chairs and the ot lights with the magnifying glasses and everything and we can do 16 crafters comfortably downstairs if there's more i can set up tables upstairs too and while you're here you can come for a day you can come overnight and come for a weekend and i can provide all of your food and snacks and everything so all you have to do is come and scrap or craft or knit or crochet or quilt any any of those things that you love to do we are the place for you to do that so give me a call 248-933-4579 but i wouldn't delay too long i think i'm getting the feeling fall is the time for for setting aside time for crafting and such we're getting a lot of calls all right i'm gonna pop these in the oven at 400 and see how they go and then we're going to get set up for whatever we're going to do next and yeah, i'll cook that up later too so there you have it we have three cups of mashed potatoes two eggs half a cup of sour cream about a cup of cheese uh, a couple tablespoons of the chopped parsley and we greased the muffin pans we whisked all the ingredients together added them to the eggs filled the cups and they're in the oven for as i said 25 to 35 minutes but I'll check them at 20 because I didn't set the timer, did I? Let's set them for 20 so we check them. There we go. <laughs> and then when we come back, let me see what my list says we're going to do. Oh, this is kind of cool. I've been getting all these recipes sent to me of all these healthy, mean, green salads and that kind of thing. And I've uh, been looking through them and I found one that I think looks really good and it would appeal to whether you're into all that type of, of food and such, or like me, I just like to try new things. So I'm gonna get busy with that. When we come back, we will build a clean, mean, green salad. Does that sound like fun? I don't remember who sent me that, but I'm looking forward to trying it. So give me a few minutes, come on back, and we'll get building, building our salad as soon as I find my instructions for it. The Agent Orange Education Program is coming to the Oxford area. Presented by the Vietnam Veterans of America and Christ the King Church in Oxford. Learn about the health risks of Agent Orange exposure at the Agent Orange Town Hall. October 24th at Christ the King Church, 1550 West Drainer Road. Registration at 11 a.m. and Town Hall at noon. We're back and we are going to make <laughs> I'm not being threatening we're gonna make a mean clean green salad which oddly enough will have no salad in it well, that's interesting all right um, earlier today I just took a chicken breast and the chicken breasts now are huge so I sliced this to make it a little bit thinner so it would cook more quickly and I'm just gonna cut that up kind of into bite-sized pieces just threw this in the oven on 350 a little bit of salt and pepper and garlic for, I don't know, it's about maybe 20 minutes. And I'm going to cut that up and throw that in the bowl. And then we're going to use all these wonderful ingredients. And I'm going to toss together a mean green salad with no greens in it. Well, there's parsley. But uh, I think this is one of those things where it's the combination of flavors and the freshness. I think that must be what gives it its healthy slant. As I said before, I'm not a dietitian, but I do like clean eating. I do like simple, and I like mixing flavors, as you've seen here. Sometimes rather odd, but you know, if it doesn't work, you just don't do it a second time. I'm gonna give a quick look into the oven here, see what's happening with our little. Ooh, they're cooking, they're bubbling. All right, it smells good. So there you go. I am going to do cooking classes. I'm just trying to figure out now what the best day of the week and time would be for people to be available. And uh, then I'll get it on the schedule. 
And the kitchen's not huge, so we won't have big groups, but that's all right. You get to come up and cook, and then you get to eat everything you cook. And it'll be just the kind of cooking that you see that I do here on the show without the recipes. Because most of my cooking is just kind of, well, gee, this looks good. So that's what we'll do. And like I said, we've got just so much stuff coming up. I'm, I'm, even now I'm thinking ahead to soon it'll be time to get the Christmas decorations out, but not until after Thanksgiving. I will not put Christmas decorations up till after Thanksgiving. All right, according to my recipe, I now need to look at my recipe. Oh, a tomato. Now this one's starting to get a little bit of brown on it, but that's okay. It's not going to hurt anything. I'll just cut that away. It's still nice and firm and smells heavenly. Ah, Michigan tomatoes. Look at me, I'm dicing. Now a lot of people, when they do tomatoes, they will core them and take this, the seeds and everything out. I like the whole tomato. If you're serving someone who has maybe like diverticulitis, you do want to get those seeds out because they can't, you know, that can be a problem. But um, up here, I just always ask when people make the reservations, if there's any food issues, allergies, anything like that. I recently had someone that was allergic to cinnamon. Never heard that before. But if I know in advance, I can work around just about anything. The other day I made, for some ladies that were here, cold avocado soup. All it was was a fresh avocado mashed, vegetable stock, because one of the ladies was a vegetarian, and then either yogurt or sour cream, something on that order, blend it all together, chill it for about 45 minutes. It was wonderful. It was just fresh and just wonderful. Most, we're going to start getting into that season now where we're going to start looking at soups. Just love, love, love to do soups. Now that I've discovered that it's not nearly as scary as I once thought it was. Now we need red onion. Now see, I'm going to chop it. I'm going to leave all of this wrap around here because I don't need this right now. And that will keep it fresher longer. So I'm going to take that off. Little handy dandy garbage bowl. We have free meals coming up next week. I've been having a lot of fun there. <clears throat> Sadly, my friends Glenn and Be or Glenn, Kim and Beth, that will be their last service with us. They're leaving for their new home in Florida. And I'm really going to miss them. I've known them for 15 years. Wonderful people. Been wonderful friends. I mean, we'll still be in touch, and they'll be back. I've already got, made plans to come back. And they'll be back for the shearing. But it uh, won't be quite the same as having them right around the corner. So I'm going to toss that in. Oh, that onion. Just the right amount of onion. <laughs> OK, avocado. Now this, you want your avocado to get a little bit squishy. This one isn't quite as squishy as I would like, but that's what was available. So I'm just going to take, slice the skin. Turn it, there's the pit, and the recipe said to dice the avocado, so I'm going to see if I can't. <clears throat> there we go. Don't want to waste any. Funny, avocados have such a wonderful texture and taste, and they have almost no aroma. I don't know why that is. Well, it works. All right, we'll see what it means to... There we go. That kind of dices it up. Now because of this avocado, this is the kind of salad you would kind of want to make up and serve pretty quickly so that you don't, uh, so it doesn't get a chance to go brown on you. And that, if it does, it's not going to hurt anything. It just isn't as pretty because then you lose all this beautiful bright green avocado <laughs> green color. All right. And what else? I'm just going to yeah, flip it over and deal with it later. Some fresh parsley. Ooh, that is looking like a pretty salad. Now, this is the kind of thing you could chop up a jalapeno, um, red pepper flakes, things like that. And as we've talked about before, I don't do 
heat, so I'm not adding them. But if I was serving this up here, which I will be, um, I would serve those things on the side so that people can add those if they want to. Oh, look at that. That is so pretty. You're going to have the protein from the chicken and all the vitamins and fiber from the vegetables. Oh, my goodness. Now we need to make a dressing, which is lime juice, olive oil, and salt and pepper. That's easy enough. So we're going to juice a couple of limes. I've got avocado on my blade. I <laughs> didn't want to slice. There we go. Oh, mm, don't mind me. Love, love, love the smell. And yes, I do this when I'm up here all by myself, too. I smell things and talk about them. And so this is really, really simple. It sure smells good. I think we'll do two. Ugh. There we go. So this is the kind of thing, if I can get my fresh avocados, I would do this all winter. Like I said, I like to bring the seasons. It doesn't matter. We grill all winter. I make deviled eggs in January. So I'm going to finish juicing my lime here. When we get back, I'll finish dressing the salad. And then we will make a fun little dessert. So this is just, this is what you're looking at here. It's going to drizzle the, the, you know what this stuff is, lime juice. Going to drizzle the lime juice over that. Just a touch, really just a touch of olive oil. Look at that, salt and pepper. And voila. That is a gorgeous salad. And it looks, oh, all oh, that lime juice is wonderful. Mm-mm-mm. I know what's for lunch today. I'll see you in a little while. Mm-hmm. Attention all local veterans. Free eye exams are coming to American Legion Post 108. The event is sponsored in part by Post 108 and by the Michigan Society of Eye Physicians and Surgeons. Certified eye care specialists and surgeons will provide free care to veterans and their families. Saturday, October 31st from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at American Legion Post 108. Ah, oh, we're back. We've made our salad, which is delicious. I've been noshing on it. I'm going to check my potato puffs. Ooh, they're doing their thing. They're getting brown and crispy on the edges. All right, we are going to do something that I'm sure will prove to be quick and easy. <laughs> you never know when that's going to happen. This is just some basic crescent dough. And this is the kind of thing you always have you know, some in the, in the fridge if you need to make something quick. I've shown you what I do with Grand's dough when I cut it into quarters and stuff it with things. So let's do something fun with crescent dough. So I'm going to lay it out. This will be, this will be a dessert thing. This will be kind of a, an apple pie type thing. So I need an apple. I have an apple. I don't have any place to... I'll just do this over the sink. I'm going to peel this. Get it ready to slice. This is this is a honey crisp apple. I love honey crisp apples. It's the kind of thing that if I had to, if I needed 40 of them, I wouldn't buy honey crisp because they're too expensive. But when I just need one or two, then I can splurge a little bit. And they're see how they're just so juicy. I think they're gonna be perfect for what we're doing here. Now this recipe, according to the instructions that I received, you can leave the peel on, but I want the apple to soften up a bit more. There we go. Thank you, Mom. That's my peeler. All right. Um, according to the instructions, we need some brown sugar. There's some brown sugar going in. 
Oh, those potatoes are smelling so good. <laughs> some brown sugar. Some cinnamon. I'm gonna be a little more careful with the cinnamon this time. This is this is wonderful. This is um, cinnamon from Madagascar, and it's just oh, it is so fragrant. So you just don't need much. You probably if it calls for a teaspoon, you probably only need about a half when you're using this kind. That's how good it is. And I'll do some nutmeg because a day is not complete if I don't have a chance to use my zester. Mm-mm-mm. You smell the nutmeg. Mm. All right. Then we'll add some nuts. Now, the recipe called for pecans, but I happen to have walnuts handy, so we'll just do some walnuts. So I know I said whenever I follow a recipe once, I always do it exactly the first time, but sometimes you have to go with what's available. So... Break these up a little bit. This reminds me of something my grandmother used to make when she'd come down in the fall from Canada. My mom wanted, you know, she would make apple pie and she would take the leftover crust after she trimmed it and make these little bites kind of like this, which basically was yeah, designed to keep us off the pie until dinner time. It usually worked. All right, I'm gonna get some apple here. I'm going to take a slice. And again, according to the recipe, I'm going to dip it in some melted butter, place it on the wide end of the little biscuit here. Let me go over there. Oops. Toss it around the room a few times. All right, and then just roll it up like you would a crescent roll. Here, I'll do this one. Just kind of roll it up. Doesn't have to be perfectly neat. And then we're just going to follow the package instructions, which I think is like 12 minutes baking time. So I'll get these ready to go in at about the same time as our potatoes are ready to come out. Okay, there's four. My potatoes are telling me they're ready to come out. And they are almost ready. Um, little hint, if the recipe, unless you know it for sure, calls for, say, 30 minutes, I always set the timer for 20 to remind me to come and check it. Because sometimes things cook a little faster. And that way, too, I'm not just out, you know, ignoring it, and then the timer goes off. So that's why I've got it going at intervals. Because I, I listen to my food, but it's kind of hard to listen to it when it's in the oven. <laughs> So I'm going to get the rest of these put together and pop them in the oven and I'll be back in just a couple minutes and we'll finish up here. You're watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television, serving Oxford, Addison Township and the village of Leonard. Our potatoes are out of the oven. Our little mini apple crescent things are in the oven. So I'm going to take these off the pan and see how they turn out. Because I do so love. I want to let them cool just a bit. Let's see if they're going to come out in one piece or they're going to come out looking like mashed potatoes. Whoa, it looks pretty good. All right. Loosen it up just a little bit more. When well, they do get nice and puffy from the egg. Got a nice little crown on there. There we go. Oops, lost a little bit. And that's hot. Now if this were me, I would do that on the side. Because I do still love my sour cream. And, ooh, in less than a minute, we will pull our little apple things out of the oven. We'll have those two. Look at that. Now, I think that that is just absolutely lovely. My next experiment will be to make these in the mini pan, in the mini muffin pan. And, mmm, 
Oh, that's good. That is really, really good. Wonderful. Now let me take a quick peek. Excuse me, I just licked my fingers. Let's see what's happening in the oven. Oh, oh, look at those. I think 11 seconds, I think we can call it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's very hot. All righty then, look at those. Mm -hmm. Put our potatoes here. Now I haven't really created a meal here today. Just a lot of components, but it's been fun. Let's get some of those onto a plate. And I think I'll do, because they're very hot, so I'm not gonna bite one yet. I think I'll cut one open and we'll look inside. There we go. Oh, I get it. Now we dip the butter, apple in the butter because it formed kind of a caramel sauce in there. That's what it did. Look at that. Oh, yes, look at that. You see the nuts and the seasoning and the apples. Let go. And yes, it's too hot to bite yet, but it smells wonderful. So thank you all for sending me recipes and send more. I'm having a ball. In the meantime, you can send them to my Facebook page, Treetop Lodge Oxford. Email me at stormy3958 at att.net. You can call me at 248-933-4579. And you can visit our brand new website, Treetop Lodge Oxford. And we'll be playing with all these sorts of things. And you will, when you come up here, you're going to begin to see your ideas and your recipes filtered into our wine dinners and our murder mystery dinners and our scrapbooking events and birthdays and everything else. And remember the Halloween party. That's going to be a lot of fun. We've got just grown-ups. We're not doing kids because the lodge just really isn't a kid's place. It is more of a grown-up's place. So if you have an idea, you have a group that you want to bring up, you want to come up for a day, for an afternoon, you want to have a uh, glass of wine on the deck and I'll make you hors d'oeuvres. We're just about, there's about nothing we won't do here except kids and noise. But give me a chance to cook for you because obviously it's what I love to do. And this today was a lot of fun, experimenting with new things and the salad. So to this episode we make the, we made our potato puffs, which will become appetizers. And we made our clean, green, mean salad that's deliciously fresh. And these wonderful little Apple pie bites, basically, is what they amount to, done quickly with a can of crescent dough and an apple. And that's the whole thing. So even though these were brand new recipes, we were able to put them together and, and do the whole thing in less than 30 minutes. So try these out and then let me know what you think. And if I've made something of yours, let me know what was yours, because I can't always keep track of, of who's sending me the recipes. I try, but sometimes I get so many. So I'm going to go through my news feed again and see what else is there. And in the meantime, just enjoy this beautiful fall weather. And it's beautiful up here right now, and it's gonna be more so very soon because we're gonna start getting color and we'll be out enjoying the paths and the big meadow. So come on up, come on up and cook with me, hang out, whatever you wanna do. That's what we like to do. So until next time, when I come up with, I don't know, we're getting into fall, maybe we'll start some soups. And episode 20, now this was episode 19. Our next episode, my husband's gonna come back because it'd be kind of an anniversary thing. And I think we're gonna make steamed mussels because he really likes to do that. So I think that'll be our next one. And then after that, we're gonna start getting into our soups and stews and heartier fall fare. So Chris will be with us next time and just watch our Facebook page and we'll let you know when the shows are coming up. So till then, be nice to one another. I'll see you soon. Mm -mm -mm. You're watching OCTV, Oxford Community Television, serving Oxford, Addison Township, and the village of Leonard.